Hey ho guys, John Weiss here with Comageddon, and I'm bringing you another uh, one, uh, three of three movie reviews uh, from the three movies I've seen this past week. Uh, I already went over Thor Ragnarok, make sure you check that video out. I just did one for Jigsaw, so again, check that one out. This one is for Bad Moms Christmas. So here we go. Oh, the house looks really nice. Oh, thank you. Yes. Your dad is awesome. I thought you hated him. Wait, wh why would you say that? I heard you and Daddy in the bedroom. You kept screaming at him. Those were just, they were happy screams. And then you punched the wall and yelled, the F wall. You were like, oh my. Just like that. Oh my. Okay, so, Bad Mom's Christmas. Um, so, uh, the three movies I've, uh, I, I'm doing now, Thor Ragnarok comic book movie. Uh, Jigsaw. Why Jigsaw on a geek site? Well, you have the horror movie geeks, and of course, you've got uh, Laura Vanderfoot as one of the characters. She uh, is involved with uh, Smallville V, so. Now, what does Bad Mom's Christmas have to do with all geekdom? Uh, it is a chick flick. <clears throat> so what does a chick flick have to do with geekdom? Simple. There is an awesome cameo by Green Arrow himself. No, 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 no. Not that Green Arrow. Justin Hartley Green Arrow from Smallville. So I've seen two movies this week with two former cast members from Smallville in them. And so yeah, I, and I, and it's, and I just have to review this movie uh, and his scene. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, so I um, last year the first Bad Moms movie came out. Uh, I had Mina Kunis in it and uh, Christian Bell, who of course also has roots in geekdom. And the trailers were funny. I thought it was funny. Did I have to see it at the theater? I could have waited until Blu-ray, but my girlfriend really wanted to see it. And I wasn't going to say no because it looked funny. And I wasn't disappointed. It actually ended up being my favorite comedy of the year last year. Uh, so when it was announced that they were doing Bad Mom's Christmas, I I had to go see it. I wanted to see it. Uh, my girlfriend definitely wanted to see it because she loved the first one. Uh, so we went and saw it with her mom and her sister. Uh, which, <laughs> some of the things in the movie that happened do, did make it a little awkward. Uh, especially seems I think I was only one of two men in the entire theater, <coughs> and you can definitely hear the chicks laughing at the certain parts and going "woo yeah" at other parts. Justin Hartley being one of them, and I'll get into that here in just a moment. Uh, so, Bad Moms Christmas, uh, I don't think it's gonna be the comedy of the year for me. I, I I haven't really put too much thought into it, but this movie is very funny. And I'll go over real quick the main plot of the previous movie in this one. So, Bad Moms. Stars Mina Kunis, uh, Christian Bell, um, as a trio of moms who decided they pretty much had had it trying to be the perfect mom. Uh, they decide they're going to be bad moms. <laughs> uh, they're going to uh, not just, just not try so hard, you know. Uh, they're going to make their kids make their own breakfast, and they're old enough to do so. Uh, they're not going to take crap from any members of the PTA or the school, so. It, 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 a lot of humor ensues in this movie. Uh, it, it's a little out there, but at the same time, you can kind of see some moms doing this, which it, it has a little enduring quality about it. Bad Moms Christmas continues pretty much months after the first movie. I mean, judged by when that movie came out, the first one came out, and this one, the timeline kind of fits. Uh, it's Christmas time, as the Thailand tells. Mina Kunis' character, uh, and then I should tell you that there's going to be spoilers from the previous movie and this movie, so be warned now. Okay, still here? Awesome. Um, she just got through her divorce, and it's Christmas time, and she wants to try giving her kids a nice Christmas. Not the perfect, out there Christmas, but a nice Christmas. It's what her kids want. Well, the three main moms from the previous movies, um... We're reintroduced to them as their moms decide to visit for the holidays, uh, and one of the one of the moms uh, is played by uh, anybody who watches has seen The Big Bang Theory. The character Leonard, her his mom, plays Mina Kunis's mom in this movie. And it's pretty much the same exact character, so 
it's kind of got typecast, but it, she fits really well in, in, in the role she's put in. Uh, another surprise mom shows up, Susan Sarandon, who I'm a big fan of because of Rocky Horror Picture Show. <clears throat> Uh, Kristen Bell's mom shows up. I can't remember her name, and I feel horrible. Uh, but she's the type of mom who's got to be with her daughter all the time, even to the point in, in the movie where she actually ends up watching Kristen Bell and her husband begin to have sex. Awkward. <laughs> so where does Justin Harley character come in? So one of the characters, again, I can't think of the actress's name. <laughs> Uh, it works at a spa where she waxes people. Justin Harley's character comes in. He plays a stripping Santa. <clears throat> he goes around to different uh, Santa competitions, dances and strips. And he's come in to get his twigs and berries waxed as well as his crack. And then, oddly enough, a romance ensues between him and the, this mom character. And again, I can't remember her name. I feel horrible. Uh, maybe Shannon will look it up and flash it on the screen for me, because my mind is just right now. But <clears throat> it was an odd moment. It was both for me funny and kind of uncomfortable, not because I'm watching it with my girlfriend, because I'm watching it with my girlfriend's mom and her sister. Uh, and you don't see anything down there, so guys, don't don't worry about that. Uh, so that 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 is where Justin Hartley, the Green Arrows cameo, comes in, and he shows up a few more times in the movie. Uh, we also had now I go with the ums again. I'm trying to say it, and I swear. We, we have another cameo from uh, the main protagonist of the previous Bad Moms, Christina Applegate, from Married with Children. Uh, she shows up uh, in a cameo in this film <coughs> uh, in a very humorous moment uh, during Christmas caroling. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Uh, this movie is it's funny. I enjoyed it. I, uh, it's one I plan on picking up when it comes out. Uh, let's face it, all three of these movies I've seen, Thor, Jigsaw, and Bad Mouse Christmas, I'm going to pick up on Blu-ray. These movies, this, this, this particular movie, very funny. Uh, if you go see it with your girlfriend, you'll laugh. I think you'll laugh. Don't see it with her family, because you don't know whether you should be laughing or not. I couldn't help it, because everything that was going on on the screen was funny. Um, did it up the ante from the first film? Not really. Uh, you get a lot of the same level of humor and jokes in this one than he did in the first movie. So it really is a continuation, but it's not a bad thing. It really isn't. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more anti. But I think if they went any further, maybe it would have just got downright ridiculous. So maybe it was good that they kind of kept a little level on, same level as the first movie. Um, let's see. Let's just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just started, it just came out to the theater this past weekend. It's still there. It's, uh, early November. Uh, it is the it's the third. So if you watch my jigsaw, then you're, I'm wearing the same shirt. You know I'm filming them back to back. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it, it just came out the theater this past weekend. Uh, very funny movie. Take your take your girl to go with go go see it. She'll love it. Uh, unless of course she doesn't have the um, perverted mindset. Because it's, it's definitely for those type of people with that kind of a mindset. Definitely for hers. Uh, maybe she wants to go see it with her girlfriends, if that's the case. Let her go see it. You can go see Thor. Uh, Blade Runner's still playing, which I still have to see that movie. Um, go see that. But otherwise, take your girl to go see it. She'll appreciate it. Uh, there's things in the movie that may get a little hot and bother. There's definitely plenty of eye candy for the girls. Not so much for the guys. But definitely a lot of eye candy for the girls. You may even be able to get back home and... Um, Continue the movie. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> so enjoy yourself. Enjoy the movie. Uh, if you've seen it or you plan on seeing it, let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you like and hit that subscribe button so you can uh, you catch all the comic and TV goodness that is us geeked up. So thank you for tuning in to Comic In, where all geek culture collide. Until next time, my fellow friends and geeks. <laughs>